I'm trying to put it in that square there. At this Toronto area pickleball club, space is always at a premium. Too many players and not enough courts. It's housed in an old hockey arena whose full-time tenant is actually a badminton club. The badminton club takes three quarters of the time. We only have eight to 12 uh, Monday to Friday. And uh, it's really not enough time. Finding space to play is an issue across the country for a sport that until a few years ago, few had even heard of. In 2023, Pickleball Canada estimates about a million people play it at least once a month. It's such a social game and you get to meet people and uh, it's a very easy game to play. It's an extremely hard game to play well. The game is like a miniature version of tennis played with paddles and a harder, less bouncy ball and has been especially attractive to older athletes like this 93-year-old club regular. Every time I hit a nice shot, you know, I feel good about it. That appeal is driving creative efforts to find more space. I've never seen a sport sort of enter the cultural conversation like pickleball has in the last couple of years. At this suburban Toronto mall, a vast retail space that used to house a Target store will soon be home to nine new pickleball courts. The company behind this one says plans are underway to do the same at other malls in the GTA and Vancouver. The hope? To breathe life into dormant spaces with a new reason to visit the mall. I think there's definitely a supply and demand opportunity right now. Where are people playing pickleball outside of the YMCA's? We've heard church basements converting. This is just going to fit what people are looking for. Players won't have club fees, just pay by the hour. And access to a restaurant and bar would be part of the design. I think a perfect night is having all the courts full. I think the music blasting. I think people laughing. An emerging sport revitalizing unused space, reaching a new demographic and giving people more places to play. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.